Hey boy, this is Jan1022 and I'm going to show you guys a couple things in the video. First, I'm going to show you guys how to actually get to Sunset House. It's located just above Morningwood and I've seen all over the interwebs how the hell do I get there. Well, actually pretty simple, you have to spawn in Morningwood and then I'll show you which path to take and then you're at Sunset House. Yay! But, and you have to do this at night because otherwise you can't actually get into the house. So, let's get rolling. So, fast travel in Morningwood. Diggy, morning wood. Ha, ha, ha. It's almost as bad as uh, Stool Bend, Virginia. Ha, ha, ha. I forgot to laugh. So, on your way to Sunset House, you'll definitely uh, encounter a shabam load of enemies. So, I'm just gonna do the pussy thing and run past them as best I can. Ah, don't hurt me! Here, basically follow the enemies or go to where they are. And it's daytime! Yay! How lame is that? Ah, uh, crap. Uh, yeah. but I can still show you how to get there. And then it'll just be like, oh, but it has to be a night. So, whatever. Keep running, running, running. Uh. Whoa. Oh my god, wow. GTFO, noob. This is actually in this fort, I mean, if you buy it, you have to buy it. You can actually, up there where that orb was, you can uh, play to, uh, yeah, no, play the mortar game, and you have to kill 200 hollow men in like 200 seconds. It's pretty gay. I have that achievement though. I'll probably post a video for that at some point. You for that achievement, I'll tell you right now, you just want to get as many as I like to call them clusterfucks. You gotta get so many clusterfucks or else you, it doesn't work. So you gotta keep going straight up this way. You know you're going the right way if you come upon a maze like structure to the right. Yay, alright. But actually don't go that way, because the gate you should see a gate right here that I've already opened. Oh, right. And inside, once inside, you should get the loading. Sunset House, woohoo! You've made it, and took minimal damage, hopefully. All right, once inside Sunset House. Remember, pretend it's nighttime. Please pretend it's nighttime, because I don't want it to do this all over again, but I probably should. Alright, so keep going. It's nighttime. Right, it is nighttime. Alright, so you go over here, you should see this area over here, but not the wrong way. And fuck off. And this is the right way. Okay, now you're pissing me off. Oh, you stupid goddamn pop motherfuckers. Wondering what rifle I'm using, it's called the Sangus damage, since I completed an upgrade, its damage is like 150 something. So, you know, it's pretty beast. These fucking little motherfuckers. There you go. Alright. So, yes. But you come across these four wind statues, and you're like, what? To activate it, you must go up to one, and it'll say use. You must press each one four times. So, use, 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 use. Use, 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 use. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So once you've pressed each statue used four times, you can see that the sunset house, it's all morphing and stuff, and you can go inside. And you're all like, yay, all right! And there's actually some silver keys over there, and there's a demon door over there somewhere, and all you have to do to enter that one is just be king. Woohoo! That's like the easiest one. And there's another dude here. Have a stamp. And then you walk in, and it says it house. Finally! Alright, once inside, sunset house, so you should look, it should look like this. Really shitty, broken down house with, uh, what was that guy's name? From, from Shaw Shank Redemption, I can't remember, he hangs himself. Oh, spoilers, oh well. So you see this book on here, it'll say, it'll say pretty much, oh, this house is haunted. Do, don't, do not sleep upstairs. Well, duh. 
That's intentional to tell you. Sleep upstairs, who gives a shit? Let's go to midnight. <laughs> midnight, and then you should get this. A chessboard. And there's some douchebag in my way. Use chessboard. Oh, right. And... Yeah, you'll play a couple games, a couple rounds of chess. Uh, for some reason, uh, you can only do it once. Unless you have a buddy. And this guy's like being all douchebag and taking up my shit. So yeah, you just use a checkerboard and then you play. I actually have no idea how to play chess, so I got my brother to do it. And, but I don't think it really matters what you do, because I think he was losing. And eventually, it'll come off like this automatically. And then you'll go and fight. You have to kill all of these goblins, and then the bigger goblins and then the sand furies, and then the big hollow men, and then this big mercenary dude. Once you defeat all of them, you get knight, jump, uh, knight jumps chesty. Pretty easy game score, 10 achievement, 10 achievement, 10 achievement points, so what the hell. And then you go back. I think it transports you back automatically. But whatever. So now you're back in the shitty area, and then once you've done that, and you've got the achievement, you can come to the left here, and you'll see what is probably the gayest puzzle in the game. Or the lamest puzzle in the game, I should say. Now I can just jump through because I already did. But, what you'll see is that if you look closely, you'll see a skull is reflected where you are, but it doesn't really matter. You'll see that orbs, or there'll be glowing lights, either there where that orb is, or there's one behind this stupid candlestick thing. Uh, I can't really see it. And then there's two over there. And then you have to figure out the mirror of it on this side. And then you only have to use your, uh, whatever melee weapon you have, and then slice at it. And then you do it a couple times, and eventually it took me like five minutes to figure out that, oh, you can just bolt into it. Dirt. And then you have this nice fancy version of the Sunset House. And then, all it's really is, it's just a mirror of the shitty one. So, come up here, and they don't, uh, there's a treasure chest. Back here, all, all after that, all I got was a diamond. So, I was kind of pissed off, because I read that it was supposed to be a legendary weapon, not a fucking diamond. Ugh, rage quit! So, I was kind of pissed off. Yeah. So, yeah, that's pretty much it, you know. And so, you get the uh, knight jumps chest to achievement. Again, you just do whatever. I don't think it really matters what you do. And eventually, you just, uh, you'll have to go down to talk to the chest called Chesty. Hardy, hard, hard. And then it says, We can be super best friends, right? Yeah, let's play. I don't like this game. It's too many rules. And then you defeat the goblins, and it's like, All right, we're best friends. And then you defeat the bigger goblins. All right, we're best friends. And then you defeat the fury. And then you're like, Oh, yeah, we're super best friends. And then you defeat the big ass hollow man and then the big ass mercenary. And then, yeah, morning wood. Keep running, running, running. Uh, there's four statues. Remember, it has to be at night. Night time. Night time. So just sleep until midnight at some random dude's house. Whatever. And that's how you get to the Sunset House. Get the Night Jumps Chesty Achievement in Fable 3. Good luck. It's all a really lame and time-consuming. Uh...